up to three children in every classroom has elevated blood pressure or hypertension. But most will never have a blood pressure screening before they graduate high school. And in Australia, it isn't common practice for children to have their blood pressure measured despite their peers in the US and Europe regularly rolling up their sleeves and getting checked. High blood pressure is the strongest risk factor for heart disease and stroke and is a leading cause of death worldwide. So promoting heart health during childhood is crucial as we know high blood pressure and thickening of the arteries can begin during our early years and are the first signs of serious heart problems. Here at the Murdoch Children's Research Institute, our heart research group aims to better understand congenital and acquired heart disease and to improve treatment options for young patients. The Murdoch Children's is at the forefront of addressing childhood hypertension, with our Healthy Hearts at School study seeing our team provide free blood pressure checks to students in grades 3 to 6 with parental consent. Every family involved in the study is provided with their child's blood pressure results, and those with high recordings are referred for specialist follow-up. The research team also runs heart health education sessions at the schools, which cover how the heart and arteries work, what blood pressure is, and strategies for good heart health, such as regular exercise, a healthy diet, and getting enough sleep. We really hope to expand the program to every primary school in Victoria. Our team is also leading a national collaboration to develop the first Australian guidelines to detect and manage high blood pressure in children and adolescents. Current blood pressure guidelines in Australia are only designed for those aged over 18 years old. And while some clinicians do use international guidelines for children, these aren't always transferable to an Australian setting. We really want to make measuring blood pressure in children best practice in Australia and to encourage healthy habits that will last a lifetime.